All right, y'all, what I'm doing is caramelizing my onions, and I'm going to cook these onions with this ground beef. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all how I do my ground beef. Come on over. Y'all know what I look like. Let me get this ground beef going, okay? This is ground beef. It's a family pack. Let me get you where I know you can see all in that bowl. Okay, I'm going to change the texture of this ground beef. First of all, I'm going to use a beef packet. A Lipton onion soup beef packet. I'm going to put it in there. Alright. Uh -huh. I'm going to bust a couple of eggs in here. A couple of them that eggs. This is this how I do mine. You might do yours different. You bust a couple of them eggs. Uh -huh. We're going to change this regular ground beef into chopped ground beef. We're going to change the texture on it a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to put a squashy bit of milk in here. Because I'm going to change this. I'm going to soften this ground beef up. Make it a little soft. Just a little soft. You can put bell peppers and onions if you like that in your stuff. Sure thing. I'm going to add some um, flour. First, I'm going to put a salt and pepper. A little salt. Like that. A little pepper. And a little flour. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to take some of these onions out because I want some on mine. I'm seasoning this skillet. Alright, I'm going to take some of these onions out because I want some onions on mine. So I'm going to leave to keep cooking within this meat because they give it a good flavor. Got the oven getting set. Okay, so what we're going to do is work this up and we're going to start putting it in the skillet. We're going to cook it on top of the onions to give it that amazing flavor. This is the milk and um, the flour and the eggs is going to change this into a texture like um, real soft. <clears throat> you know how sometimes you can eat um, ground beef patties and stuff at Longhorns and it's still got a different texture to it. This is what we're doing. We're, do, we're putting a different texture to this ground beef. That's all we're doing. We're going to texturize it so it just don't be like plain ground beef. Okay? Now you can add all the seasonings you want in here. You could put your everything green in here. I think I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that. Um, and what we're going to do is just kind of work that in real good and cook, cook these ground beef patties, okay? I'm going to add a little more flour. Whatever you want to put on them is your thing, okay? You can patty these. I make them into patties. Um, I'm almost done. I'm going to add some Dale season. I hate to touch. You know, I don't like to touch my stuff. Because <clears throat> then I'll be done forget, forgot to wipe it off. So I like to use a napkin when I open my stuff up. And that way. 
Well, I'll get the top in a minute. I'll sit it over here. Okay, now I'm going to switch y'all back over into this skillet. I'll turn that rice off. I'm going to start forming these patties. You can make them big or small. I'm going to make mine kind of medium, not too big. I'm going to lay them on top of those onions. It's going to help pull that flavor of that onion in there. I seasoned that skillet. I don't want them to burn or nothing. Okay. We know ground beef make its own oil, but it ain't gonna hurt you if you have to add a little oil. It's just close to get to keep it going. They're going to cook. They're going to cook into that meat. And it's going to get a meat a good flavor. A good oniony flavor. And then I got, I've left some of them out. We're going to put some ground beef over there. I mean some gravy over this ground beef. Put some ground beef over this. We just what we're doing, ain't we? Kind of like just move them around when they start grabbing hold to the, so everybody can get some onion flavor. If you don't use all of it, put the rest of it in the refrigerator. It all depends on how many people you feed. Put it in the refrigerator. If it's just you, you don't need a family pack. It's just you. How y'all doing today? I'm going to turn the phone up in just a second. Let me get this done. That's the oven set for 450 for the biscuit. And we'll get started on them. Alright. Make sure y'all sprinkle me. That's help, that helps people to know who I am. This big eyed woman that be cooking on him. It'll help them know who I am. i give it that good old flavor. Okay? I'm making room, y'all. Make room for daddy. Make room for daddy. Trying to make more room. Y'all know how it was growing up. You just all made room to sleep together. I'm going to make some room. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of this in here. 
Okay, now we're going to get ready to start on these biscuits. Hey, hey, I'll find a snack or something. It should be all right. I'm just almost, almost ready. That's what I do to my kids. I, I spoil them. Because I don't know how they day went at school and if the food was good in the cafeteria. So I always just prepare to... Alright, so hold on. We'll keep working on that. I'm going to turn y'all up so y'all can quit saying it meat. Just hold on a second, please. I'm going to turn y'all up. We're going to keep working on those, on those, um, on this ground beef. But we're going to move to something else now. Some biscuits. Okay? So that's gonna be doing what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna I'm getting ready to rinse this bowl out because I don't mess up a lot of bowls. And I'm gonna use this bowl and do some um to make the biscuits. Oh I got my glasses. I just didn't have them on. I got them. You know, I never wore glasses growing up. It's just the older I got. I never had any glasses or braces. I didn't, I wasn't a child that cost my mama no money. My baby sister's the one cost my mom and dad money. It wasn't me. It was the one five years under me. She had to have braces. She had to, she stayed in college the longest. She had to have glasses. And she had to have special glasses because she got a stigma. But I didn't. I was just this old kid running around the block. You watched that documentary yesterday. It was good, wasn't it? I'm going to make some bites. So you're going to need about two and a half cups. I'm going to make these biscuits small. Two and a half cups of shortening. And a two and a half cups of, of self-rising flour. And you're going to need a, um, about anywhere from a, a third to half a cup of shortening. I'm sorry. I had to wait to put my glasses on. I can see clearly now. Y'all ready to get started? It was interesting. Yeah, it's disturbing. You're right. But it's the truth. We got to learn the truth. People taking folks land. Even your air property. It make you wake up. It makes you realize that ain't nothing off limits when people are greedy and they want it by any means necessary. They didn't have no right to take those people's land, but they had the money. See, that's what we don't understand. Money still speaks above even honesty and justice. The system is broken for poor people. It's broken. It wasn't designed for us. So you start talking about oceanfront property, and you start talking about uh, uh, where you can bring revenue into the city. They don't care. The name of the movie is Silver Dollar Road. Like a silver dollar, S-I-L-V-E-R-D-O-L-L-E-R, Road, R-O-A-D. Silver Dollar Road in North Carolina. Miss Monica Bernie says she lives about 35 miles from there. Uh, and, it, and it is not the same woman Tyler Perry is helping, by the way. Uh-uh. That's a different woman. Sil Silver Dollar Road, um, Tyler Perry ain't building them no house. I wish you would go down there and help them get their land straightened out. Because that cousin up north, he, that was our property. How did he get a deed? It was falsified. And they let them falsify that deed. Because in order to get our property cleared, 
the system is so broken and unjust. And people going to reap what they sow. You know, some people's wealth is just on earth. They don't care what they do to you. The system is so broken. And, uh, and, and the thing, the reason why they knew that there was no way he could give them a correct deed. Because when one of the granddaddies died, there were brothers. And when one of them died and the other one, they didn't ever clear it. And so the name remained in their grandparents' names. And they just kept paying their tax. So anybody that is a real or a e e l can live on that property, and it was so they done them so bad and put them in jail for eight years. That's a long time for something that's yours. And them men went to jail for eight years for that family land. Eight years. So now I'm going to make y'all some biscuits. I'm going to do them right here. For eight years, I'm doing it like grandma and them used to. You know you can make you some sour cream biscuits too, right? You know you can make biscuits with sour cream. I just thought I'd tell y'all that. So many ways to make it. Yeah, he did help um, uh, Sean Pace Rose, mom and them. And I'm only going to make a handful of biscuits, okay? So... Like I say, you, you pretty much know what two, two and a half cups. Then you're going to take your shortening. You got to crumble your shortening before you do anything else. Make sure that, that, that is, it is in there. It's evenly distributed. Or else your biscuits won't be right. You can add sugar. You can add some salt. You can add whatever you want. You can add some garlic. Um, you can add cheese right now to your biscuits. You can put whatever you want in these biscuits once you get this crumbled in here. Get this crumbled in here first. Okay? Then you can play with it. Put what you want to in here. You got to get this. You got to crumble this to where it look like you used it. It's old flour. It's on Prime TV. It's called Silver Dollar Road. And if you look at the end, in 2022, the last interview, the, the daughter of that descendant was 95. Melvin and his brother went into prison, went into jail when they were 50-something years old. And, and, and then they got out. They were 62. So what that would have made them be? About around 57, 58? I use whole buttermilk for the fat base. Crumble this real good. See, that ain't crumbled enough. See, them pieces is too big. That ain't crumbled enough. It ain't. You, let me show you why. If I start right now, look, all them big humps. Uh-uh. Because ain't none of this got nothing in it. So you're going to have a big hump right here. And all this flour ain't got nothing in it. That, that ain't going to be right. Well, it might be to you. But it ain't going to be right to me. They put them in jail because they told them to tear down their houses that they already had on the land. Okay, it's oceanfront land. They told them to tear their properties down, their little huts that they had. And they said, no, these are houses. We live here. How, how somebody going to sell something somebody else live on? Ooh. -wee. And that mama just was so humble. She wouldn't go nowhere. She wouldn't leave the house. She'd be scared she's going to miss a call. And they put them in jail, county jail, for eight years. And um, uh, Lee um, Lee Curtis got sick. And the doctor said there wasn't nothing wrong with Lee Curtis except that he needed to get out of jail. I only see low-fat buttermilk in the stores. Well, if it's low-fat, then you got you some um, sour cream. Add sour cream in there. It's got fat base. Uh, that'd be all right. Or uh, add your little heavy whipping cream in there and give it a richer fat base. I know a lot of people. I done seen a lot of people on here change their biscuit recipe. Because I'm going to tell you something. I really I really have taught people. They ain't going to never tell you the truth. But I done, taught, I done taught a lot of people how to make these biscuits. I can make biscuits standing up, sleeping with anything, canned milk, anything. You name it. I, I can make a biscuit. I can make a biscuit or dessert. I can make a biscuit. I can make it so light and fluffy you think that you ain't eat no biscuit. 
I can eat a little out. <laughs> you can add your little sugar in here if you want some sugar in here. Um, just a sprinkle. It don't take much. And um, it don't matter if it's powdered sugar or, or, or crystal sugar. It don't matter. That that documentary just not now. This is how you want it. See how crumbled that is. And some people may say, "Well, how hard is it to make a biscuit?" Wait to some of them. They changed their temperature, didn't? They? Cooking a biscuit on three seventy five and three fifty. That biscuit gonna, gonna be so hard to warm up. I don't care what nobody say. You don't cook it too long. You don't cook the biscuit forty five minutes. That's too long. You don't cook this hard. It don't take forty five minutes to cook this. Don't you know bread has different textures to it? You can do different things to change the texture. You can turn this into a sconce if you wanted to. You can turn this in dinner, into dinner rolls. Some people would take this, add their yeast in that and everything else, and turn this into a, a biscuit dinner roll. Baby, I don't care. Before they, let me tell you something. I know my recipes, and I know what my mama taught me. The patent of the water, the patent of the stuff on top, you, you ain't seeing nobody. That's mine. You can take it, you can have it, you can steal it. But I'm going to tell you this much, it comes from my mama. It's just something she said you needed to do. Now see, I like the way this feels. You got to learn the texture. Now you can play with it right now, but when you start folding it, don't fold it too long, you'll make your biscuit tough. And it won't be light and fluffy. Yeah, silver dollar roll, Sharon. It's something else. In 2022, for this to still be happening. And then it took Melvin's business away. Folks there were starving him out. They went by a shrimp, his crab. They sit, they sit right there where the um, lake go into the Atlantic Ocean. And so a lot of times with seafood, it gets pushed out when it's smaller. So the shrimp and the crab was in that lake. Now, it's still in the ocean, but they could make a good living not going in coastal water. And this is how you want it. Just like that. That's how that's you gotta feel your own. You, you know, with anything you do, everything that's been created, somebody had to create it. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Create your own bread. Start playing around with stuff. Yeah, get you a tissue. You're going to need it. I'm telling you. It'll break your heart and that mama stay so humble. And they so down to earth. Melvin know that land so good. Melvin took them to three graveyards. All their family members. All them graves on that land. Put some garlic butter and cheese in them biscuits when I make them. Yeah. Yeah, William. It's just not going to flow with what I'm cooking right now because I'm doing this gravy. And I don't know if my husband would like no garlic biscuit. But let me tell you something. That is that ain't a bad idea. I could eat it with gravy. I might just go on and do that for y'all. But um just just because y'all y'all want me to y'all want me to put some cheese in these biscuits. Or should I just go on and fix some regular cause I'm cooking them for my husband? Pretty brown eyes, you know. I see it. Y'all let me know how y'all want me to make these biscuits before I go any further. Doing regular. I think, yeah, regular will go better with the gravy, I think. Okay. All right, then. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to show y'all. You don't have to mess your kitchen up. All right. Put your little flour off to the side. All you're going to do is I fold mine in a bowl because I don't have time to mess up my whole kitchen. You're going to just tighten this up a little bit. You're going to tighten it. You ain't got to go crazy. All that whoop, whoop, they act like they're making pizza dough. You don't have to do all that. Just add a little bit more in here just to tighten it enough for you. Get your pat flour off to the side. Oh, yeah, you add yeah, sugar. Let me explain to you, baby. Some biscuits have sugar in it. You can't taste it, but it has sugar in it. Do a few with cheese. Okay. But let me stop tightening. Alright, I'll separate it. 
And who gonna eat them? Okay, I'll do some. Let me let Auntie wash her hands. Okay, I'm gonna add a little of everything seasoning in, in one. And I'm gonna add some cheese. Okay, so we're gonna do a split decision, okay? Okay, we're gonna do a split decision. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna take some of these out and put some garlic and stuff in them and cheese. <clears throat> Hold on. Check my meat. Meat looking good. Them onions still caramelizing in the meat. That's how you do it. They ain't even burning or nothing. They just caramelizing. Hold on, let me get the um cheese out real quick. I'm going to do some cheese, Parmesan cheese, with some orange cheese cheddar, and I'm going to do the everything green. Okay, those are going to be some good tasting biscuits, and I'm going to do the other ones plain. I don't know who's going to eat them, but I do. As long as you got your foundation right, you can switch up. So now, we got to... Do something with this. So I'm going to scrape the end of. I'm going to turn y'all around in just a second. Hold on. I'm going to um, grease this. Yeah, I'm going to do regular. I'm just going to do a few like they asked me to. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I'm going to make them small. Yeah, they go good with breakfast and with a um steak and just if you eating it with spaghetti oh my goodness they look good so i grease my pan like that i'm gonna show you i'm gonna do what y'all asked me to do i'm gonna get a few and make them and then i'm gonna do the other ones regular all right i'm gonna sprinkle a little flour on her yeah, they're going to be good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lucretia, walk up. Where you been, boo? All right. I'm going to push this back so y'all can see me do it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get another plate. So I'm going to take a portion of this. And I'm going to do y'all what y'all asked me to do. So... First, we gonna make Mama doing good. I gotta call her today. We gonna make some some. We gonna make some plain ones and some not plain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dust this, fold it. I still it's still gonna be a little sticky with me. Okay, it's a st sticky situation. Now I'm gonna use my hands, but you can also. Get a cutter like this. I'm going to show you how you don't have to mess up your kitchen. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you. So when you get your biscuits like you want them, I'm just going to press these biscuits like this. I'm going to take this tiny cutter and like this. Press it as flat as I can get it. I'm going to dust it. I ain't rolling nothing out. I got I gotta feed my baby. As thick as you want them and as thin as you want them. Some people like thin biscuits. I'm gonna make some tiny biscuits. Hey girl! How was school today? I ain't got nothing ready, but guess what? Find us a snack and then it'll be dead like that in a minute. Ooh, don't do that. You was a monster. So, I like to roll, man, but I just want to show y'all that. Not rolling. I like to 
pinch them. That's how I like to do mine. I like to take mine and make them small. Hold on. Yeah, Avery. How you doing? I I'm just fixing some quick biscuits. What you doing? Right? You said school was good today. Yeah. What what number what what number you on? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm on. I'm gonna fix this food. Okay, it's gonna be ready in just a minute. Okay. Okay, we're going to have ground beef and gravy, okay? Okay. I'm going to show y'all. These, I used a cutter. These, I did with my hand. That's, ain't no difference. Hold on one second. I'm going to let that simmer while I do this. Hold on. Get these in the oven and then we get the gravy. I have to stay on top of stuff. And then you don't have to get super done. Make room for daddy. Bye. So, huh? How you doing? Yeah, you don't have to um mess up. You if you if you ain't really good with it, yes, roll it out. I'm, I've been doing this all my life. My mama had us in the kitchen early cooking bread first is what she taught us. Biscuits and um, cornbread was our first chore. And then after that, she went, I'm, try, I'm trying to keep this even. After that, we, we went to other foods, but I grew up doing this. Okay, Ava. Okay. So I'm going to get this out the way. I'm just using my... Um, I'm just using what I got in here. I'm pressing it out with my hand. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep enough room for y'all biscuits on y'all side. I hope I got enough. Might need to use another spoon. I'm on. I, I got a few more, but I'm. I know. I. I need to. I'm gonna make them in a different skillet. So I just basically press this dough out. I'm cutting these out. I'm having chips in the Don't get too much junk. Don't get crazy because dinner ain't ready. Okay. If I have to get another skillet, I will. Well, uh, no, I just got the phone with her. She worked. What, when did she get off? Um, I think. Five o'clock. I think about like five something. Yeah. Hold on, I'm going to do y'all biscuits too. No, is not this look like a good snack? Ooh. Yeah, and then take a nap or something. Okay? I got a cinnamon bun and I got some chips. Okay, I'm we're gonna do this. Again. <laughs> I gotta go eat. Okay. Love you. Love you. Honey, <laughs> whoever called in and said I, Ava was getting a spanking by me. Honey, I know they hate they did it, Carl. Hey, Brad, huh? you getting that stuff out the car? Mm -hmm. Avery, you know you got to get the... I don't care. The trunk is up. Okay, when the trunk up, you got to get it out. That's your Avery. Avery. Avery, you got to do it for mommy. Hey, hey. That's the, the plane. Uh-uh. He, I, Avery, I didn't let the trunk down. It's stuff in the car that's got to be got out. Oh, and, and you don't want to do it for mama. Pat it. Okay, I'm going to get another skittle out. You can pat this with buttermilk. You can pat it with water. Whatever you're using. But it's just going to seal the moisture. 
Oh yeah, it's hot outside. Our, our temperature is getting up to 80 something degrees. And these are the planes. I did 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 biscuits. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 biscuits. Okay. 14. Probably could have got 15, but we'll leave it alone. Really could have got more than that if I rolled them on my hands. Okay, now we're going to do your biscuits. We're going to put them all in at the same time. And see, that made a lot. Okay, here we go. I'm going to set them to the side over here. Got another cast iron skillet. You know I got so much cast iron in my life, it's unreal. I don't got a lot of cast iron. I got a lot of cast iron. I got my mama's old skillets. Thank you, boo. You're so beautiful to me. I don't know. You better make sure it ain't nothing that can stay in the car. I mean, it could mess up whatever's in there. So what we need to do now, we need to take this. Go ahead right now. You want some Parmesan cheese and some American cheese? Or you can just do Parmesan. Put it in now. Same way with the um, cheddar cheese. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I like finely shredded. So I might just do Parmesan because I like finely shredded cheese. Then you can shake you some everything green. And I'm going to show you another thing. Not only do you put this in your um, biscuit, you also can, um, you're going to put it in your butter to get the flavor. Shake a little bit. It's going to give it the flavor. Okay, hold on. These going to be cheese biscuits. All you're going to do, as long as your base is right. Ow. Be careful. Don't break the eggs. I don't like them. Baby, we don't like I know you don't. I know. Don't break the eggs. Put the eggs up on the counter. Don't break the eggs. What I tell you all the time, don't break the eggs, don't smush the bread. Don't break the eggs, don't smush the bread. You want to speak? What you doing next? Are you going to mm -hmm. I tell you, daddy, I'm hungry. Then you come home, come home saying, hey, hey, you been acting up? Okay. That's Parmesan. I'm going to sprinkle just a little of this cheddar, but it's too big for me. I don't like big cheese on my when I do this. I use finely grated. So, to so whoever wanted me to do this, use finely grated cheese if you can. This big cheese is big. This is, I don't really want this big cheese in this. But I'm doing it, do it for the vine. I don't want to do it, but I'll do it. Yeah, I did. Thank you, Alita Hayes. I did win the uh, chili cook-off. I sure did. Okay. I got my bowl. Now we can get to work. You're going to have to add your little flour. We ain't messing up nothing. I ain't going to roll out nothing. You can. And I done showed y'all. This bowl was empty. Okay. I just put a little flour. Take the little flour and dust. Get your hand. Dust it. Get your cutting tool. Roll it in your flour. I press with my hand. That's how I make my stuff. I don't roll out. I don't have time for all that. Ain't nothing wrong with it either. Please don't start saying you said something was wrong with rolling. No, ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to make these biscuits extra thick. I had a skillet smaller than that. I'm just gonna make a few. Ma, how do you close the 
Um, it's the trunk though thing. You want me to show it to you? Bring it here then. Go stand by the window. Look, by the window, I'll hand the dining room so you can see if it closed when you mash it. Just come back a couple of days. It's not closing. It didn't close? It's not closing. Is you holding it? Just hold it. Don't keep mashing it two times, three times. Huh? You can't just just leave it alone. It'll close on its own. If it's starting to close, you keep mashing it. It's gonna stop. Trying to get them big, and then that's it. And then we got this. I just rolled it in my hand. Two, four, six, seven biscuits. What? I'll do it. I'll do it at A. Four fifty. The oven on four fifty. Okay. Just like making cheddar bay biscuits. It's easy. Okay. We're gonna get on this ground beef now. We gotta get this stuff going. I'm setting my timer for fifteen minutes. Okay. Tracy, everyone at the doctor's office with her. Oh, okay. I pray everything all right, Mother Joy. Tell your husband, I said, hey. Okay, we clean up as we go. I do. Those your favorite biscuits. I'm going to have to, I, you know what? I could probably make the door up and don't try to cook them. And when you get them, all you got to do is create them. If I could find some packaging where I could do them and they stay frozen, I can see them. I cook Deacon Calvin's biscuits and mail them to him. All you got to do is pat them with a little water. That's all you got to do. If you want me to send you some biscuits, pat them with water and um, warm them up in the microwave for a few seconds. Or in the oven for a few seconds on a lower temperature, not a high cooking temperature. 275. I don't mind that at all. I got so much I gotta do for y'all. Mama Tracy, please read my comment. Tanae's I didn't see it, baby girl. I, you know I when I don't I look away. Yes, I sent Deacon Calvin. I got biscuits in my freezer right now. I got blueberry biscuits. and I keep all kind of biscuits in there. I take them out and pat them with water. Do you put butter in there or are they covered? No, I use shortening. I didn't put butter in those. I put shortening. You can use butter. The reason why I didn't put see shortening, you don't have to have it cold. Butter, you have to have it cold. Shortening, you can just go right from where it's at. I don't have to go through all that. But I just, you can use butter, whatever you want to use. Please send biscuits. How can we order? Oh, okay, you starting up. I need some packaging first. I went to the post office today. I sent out, out Tammy's gift. 
Okay, let me give you these measurements, Miss Cynthia Banks. Three cups of flour for you, since you knew. And a half a cup of shortening. And a one, one and a half cups of buttermilk. I'm going to use that a cup on that. Okay. Uh, thank y'all for the stars. Tracy didn't mean to bother you. I didn't see it. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me go back and read. Where is it? Where is, where is that coming? I was starting to read. I don't see it. Tarnese, I don't see your comment. What does it say? Didn't mean to bother you. Just wanna, wondered if you got the package. Yes, Donna. It's in the car. And I'm going to get it out. It's in the car. So what I'm going to do now is work on... You don't mess up nothing. I want to show y'all something. This is where I'll have my biscuit stuff. It's good to go. I'm just going to go over here now. Okay, we're going to take these out so we can get ready to make up some... Um, so we can do the gravy. Okay. I got more to cook, but I'll cook them. I'll cook them. I already got enough. And normally, I don't even cook these all the way down. But it's got that good old onion cooked into it. Yeah, y'all know these gonna be good. I can tell y'all one thing. My husband loves ground beef. He really do. I'm about to do something because I need all this goodness in this skillet. So this skillet ready for some flour. I'm doing it with all this goodness in here. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't scraping nothing out. None of that. Just gonna make my flour, my gravy. Can y'all see? Y'all in this? Y'all in there? Well, let's make us some brown gravy. I'll finish cooking the rest of that in a minute. Let's make us some brown gravy. You're gonna need a little flour. Okay. You don't have to use, let me tell y'all something with gravy. That's more than enough flour. You do not have to use a half a cup of flour or a cup of flour to make no simple gravy. Nuh-uh. That's going to be thick and gummy by the time you get ready to eat. This is a very large skillet. Don't take a lot. Now, I'm from the old school. Sometimes when I'm doing liver, I use beef broth. Today, I'm using some water. Some W-A-T-E-R, some water. Hey, little water. And let me add a little beef broth. Just um to help brown it as well. Okay? And it gives it a little flavoring. Yeah, yeah. And you can add whatever you want in your gravy. Your gravy can be magnificent. It can be plain Jane too. Salt and pepper works. You add what you like. But you don't have to use a heap of grease to make gravy. Some people's gravy is so greasy it gives you heartburn. You don't have to add that much um, grease. This is more than enough grease to make gravy. More than enough. And the longer it cooks, you're cooking the graininess off. 
and you browning it at the same time. Look at that. You don't need no more flour and no more grease. That's more than enough. They, they This is going to start cooking because I'm about to turn it up. I'm about to brown this. I'm going to get all that goodness off the bottom too. All of that goodness going to be in this gravy from them onions and everything. And I got some onions left, see. I wasn't crazy. I wasn't born yesterday. Got my onions. Yikes. Come on, husband ain't crazy over onions. So, I put mine on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Onions and mushroom. Getting them onions from over there. Everything I can find in this skillet. It's, it's just little pieces of ground beef in here too. And I'm just browning this. That's what you do. You just brown your gravy to, to the consistency of the darkness that you want it. You don't have to destroy your kitchen when you cook. Just take your time and do what you're going to do. Any questions? I'm going to keep moving. My husband, yeah, I'm going to put mine on top of mine, though. I ain't been able to eat. i probably eat a couple of bites, but that's what's going on. Hey, Patina. Uh, Miss Patina Martin. Miss Panita Martin, I'm sorry. From uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Hey. Corey Lee. I was saying thank you for my beautiful gift. I also thank Miss Tiffany. You got your, you been honeycomb. You been honey rise. You got your honeycomb box. Are you happy with everything that's in there? You deserve it. You from Huntsville, Alabama. Oh, okay. Huntsville is a, is a growing town. Little Atlanta. Ooh, Ron Ross. That sound good. How you make your biscuits. Uh, if you um share me and put it on your page, you'll see it. These biscuits are coming along good. They got about five minutes left. I, Marcus Graham, I don't have you down for one. I thought I did. I have to check Marcus, okay? Let me check. I did me in the other night. Okay, let me let me. I think I might have I might have done gave all up out, but let me check for the for next month. I have to check with Tiffany, and then you have to tell me if you like coffee or tea. Or I think I I think I might got mine. Some biscuits would go. Oh, run! I if I could airlift you some biscuits, you could have them. I'll make you some biscuits. Ron, have I ever gave you anything? Let me check on Marcus Graham. I think I be done gave him out, but it, for, I just sent out three, and then I got three more. You you'll have to get on the list probably for. I just I'll I'll see. I I could have sworn Mama Tracy put you down for one. That's what I thought, um, Tequila Clayton, but I can't remember, and I don't want to tell him I did, and he's not the one that I put down. Cause I had men's honeycomb um the other day, um, Marcus, but I don't think I put you down. I think it was Demarius. Um, it's just that I pick people randomly and bless them. Just like I do with cakes and desserts. It's just a random pick, Miss Betty. And um I'm you know, I have only have so much money I can spend. Because I, we already done gave, we got to give out groceries next month. We gave out some, and so we got to give out some more. We going to start taking money up for next month to be blessing for groceries. We just did um, three sets for November. Uh, three sets of groceries so far. Six, uh, people got $200 a piece. Yeah, it was the man. That's why I thought. I don't think, that's why I thought it was, too. Yeah, I didn't call his name. I 
I just know how to make. Yeah, I try to make it simple making biscuits. You can make them with canned milk. If you ever run out of stuff, you can make it with canned milk. You can make biscuits with sour cream. You can make biscuits with heavy whipping cream, sweet milk, sour cream. You can make biscuits with anything. You can donate to the giveaway um, at dollar sign Mama's Comfort Cooking. That's what I thought, Willie. I, I, I don't think I called. Yeah. I didn't call it. Yummy. Dollar sign M A M A S Comfort Cooking. You'll see Tracy Mitchell pop up and you can give. Okay, let me show y'all this real quick. Thank you. Y'all gave them to me. Somebody did. So see how that gravy is browning? You see why you didn't need no more flour? That flour would have been too thick. So you cooking the graining this off. When you add water and get your whisk, and you gonna you gonna um end up having some amazing gravy. Now it's look how the color it is. How dark do you want your gravy? Now with liver, I like my gravy extra dark. How dark? Do you want your gravy? That's the question you have to ask yourself. And if you want it dark, you got to be patient for that flour to cook. See, somebody would have added a whole ton of grease. You don't need it. When that grease and that flour match each other, it's going to brown that flour. It's going to cook it like it cook anything else. That's so all it's doing is cooking it and browning it. You see, it's browning that gravy. See? That's what it's doing. It's browning it. And it's cooking the grainy off, off of it. Don't nobody want no grainy gravy and no grainy greens. Nobody want that. It's cooking it. What is doing? Okay, it's saying them biscuits ready. Let me see. What did I drop in my oven? Child, why is my oven smoking? And I ain't dropping nothing. They look good. They ready to brown. So let's brown these biscuits. I'm just going to brown them before I butter them. Just for the sake of time. Okay. They they, they finna come out. And I got to get that butter together. Um, To brush on top of those ones that's got garlic and all that. Avery! Take your time now. Mm. He's singing a song now. Going a little higher now. What you see? Check. Bring me my towel back so I get my biscuits out. Them, them, mama, my mama's biscuits. Let me get these, these biscuits about brown enough. Hold on. Thank you, A.A. Okay, now I'm going to add some water to this gravy. As soon as I check the biscuits. I gotta make a special butter for y'all's 
me get them out. I'm gonna make a special butter for y'all. Okay, we gotta make a garlic butter for y'all. That go to garlic um, cheddar bay biscuits. That go to plain biscuits back there. All right. That's y'all's. I gotta. I'm gonna burn myself. I'm gonna dust y'all butter on, and then I'm gonna dust some butter on those. Turn this oven off. Sorry, AA. Now I'm gonna do the gravy real quick. Then we'll brown the biscuits. Oh Lord, Tracy. Come Facebook police. Oh, you was playing music. Oh, you have to get it, baby. It's down, it's down there. Come on, come on. It all depends on how brown you want your gravy. be my helper y'all love my booper can give me some more water please mama sita huh? yeah my mama sita huh? i'm making it here gravy baby I'm making some gravy baby i'm putting it oh, i need more water than that Let your gravy be loose, okay? Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Beautiful Caribbean American queen. Beautiful. Arabian Nights. Uh huh. You you want all that? You want this gravy loose? And I'm gonna tell you another thing. I'm gonna continue to. Normally, I will cook my um ground beef half done. So that it was finished cooking in this gravy. You're going to apply your ground beef on your, while this gravy is loose. So it's going to be alright. It's going to do what it's going to do. I promise you. I just need a squishy bit more water. And we're going to put that um, ground beef in here. We're gonna work up our butter, and then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the meat back in here. Yep, you've seen it. How much? That much. A whole lot of water. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but watch and see how this gravy turn out. Okay. Now we're gonna um, add our meat in this gravy. Okay. Now we're gonna add the meat back into this gravy while it's still like this while it's still in this position because we want it to cook this meat tender bone tender bone thugs and harmony tender we want this meat to just be like what you say mama say mama sama nakusa yes sir. add it on back in ya back in there a lot of people say, I can't make gravy. Yeah, you can. You just ain't trying to make it. You just want to buy it out the pack. You might just be used to pack gravy. You might have been raised buying it out the pack. And is anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. You got a right to have your own feelings on what you grew up with. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now that's going to do its own thing. It's going to simmer. It's going to cook. And um, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna put my onions back in now. All right. So now we're gonna I'm gonna move y'all again. And I didn't cook all that ground beef, that whole family pack. But I'm gonna move y'all right here because I gotta mix up that butter for y'all for these biscuits. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on, 
y'all. I have to get it out. Be ready to get these biscuits and pull that butter on. I got to do two different butters. One I can just brush, uh, and the other one I got to put garlic in it. I'm drying out my rice. All right. Uh, so, oh, we're supposed to be doing the butter. Hold on. I got to get a stick of butter. Let me get some of the butter. I'm using challenge because I challenge you every day to be better. We all challenge ourselves. Yes, we do. Okay. Take half of this challenge. Let me put it in the microwave. Let's get that warmed up. We're gonna grease these. And these over here, these back here, just rub some butter on them. Just like that. Mm. Okay, these right here, we're going to take them out and dust them. We're going to um, put some everything in here. You can either put it in there or you can just put it in there. No, because you got to have that flavor. And then what you want to do, you could have, I could have, while it's hot, you can top them with some more cheese. But just stir that garlic in there. And then, oh, you ain't looking at me. Stir it up, stir it up in there. And just pour it on there. Just like that. Those are garlic butter. So, that's how you do your biscuits. Those are those cheddar ones. I'll taste some of a little bit. That's that one. Just pull it up. Take that one. Don't matter. Just pull it up. Mm-hmm. Concordia. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'll taste it for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's so good. That's real good. That's real good. Oh yeah, this whole pan. Somebody gonna have to eat it. Light and fluffy. Wow, crunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me show the next set of biscuits. I'm gonna switch spot. Here's the other set. I'll close up on them. Okay, here we go. And these are these are pretty and soft too. Nice and tender. And that's that little bitty one that I did. Let me pick that one up. 
they just pull apart. There you have it. So that's just what I had left over because I don't waste no dough. I get to cook on that biscuit. Yep, that's it. They pretty, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Y'all already know. Let me let's see if I can open this one up. So, this is what I had left over, which is enough for me. nice it's flaky top is pretty inside is pretty back is pretty I'm gonna save that biscuit this is my biscuit big kilogram just don't mess with that one biscuit Um, and again, the garlic biscuit was pretty too. Nice and fluffy on the inside. It's pretty too. Mm -hmm. That's it. And, um, we got 15 days left. Keep counting, Deacon Calvin. I'm ready. I got to go to the field. Y'all want to go with me to the field? Yes, I, my gravy ain't ready for me to dip them in. But let me show you the gravy real quick. Yes, I do dip it in the gravy. I know I'm trying to die. So I'm going to be mindful of that bread, trying to change some stuff. Okay, let's check on this gravy. Computer chairs seem to be the best to use around the kitchen. Oh, I don't know. I'm in a roller. I never put a computer chair in here because I got brakes on my thing. And I'll be scared I might fall. London bridges fall down, don't they? I'll be scared I might fall. So that gravy is... It's gravy in, honey. All that gravy. And it's going to keep cooking that meat and tenderize it. And it's going to get thick. Sure is. Because I'm going to put a lid on it. But it ain't ready yet because I got it on low. I'm going to have to pump up the volume. I'm going to turn it up now. So it can start cooking. But it's, gonna, it's nice brown. Color brown. I like it. And it's going to cook this meat. I'm going to be tender. And the texture going to be different. And I got more of this to cook. But I don't think so because it's just me and Eddie and Avery. And this cousin, sister, friend going to come get the leftovers. I don't really mess too much with it. Because I got to put these groceries up and I got to um, bake some stuff. Okay. So anyway, I use a computer chair in my kitchen too. Oh, I don't. This is a this is a this is a roller. It's got brakes on it, so I don't fall and hurt myself. This is this is that's what it is. I used to be a, on a walker, then I went to a cane. Don't you hear me knocking? Come on in, Bridget. You can the door open. When can I taste one of your cakes? Um, I'm working toward it. I'm working toward it. I certainly am. All I got to do is sweep my floor, put my groceries up, and when I, I got Bible study in a little bit, so. Hey, Darius. You keeping an eye on me. That let me know you love me. Now, you've been over here twice. I'm, I'm all right. I, but you better be praying for me. Just pray for me, Mr. Cooks. I love you. Yes, I do. Darius, I used to I used to take sign language, you know. Like my 
name is D-A-R-I-U-S. Cook. Yes, but it's really W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. So. I know. I know you be as a baby. I'm proud of you. Ain't ain't nothing. Ain't nobody changing my view on you. I love you. My mama is a strong believer, honey. You was raised by your grandmama. You keep thriving and you keep being the best you can be. I'm, I'm, I, I get emotional when I talk to younger people because it's a beautiful thing to see a, 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 a man be so successful at a young age. I may not make it there. I'm just going to try to make it to the promised land. All right? <laughs> Darius, I, I, want, I know you're too busy to really eat my food and stuff. But I do want to bless you with some of my things that I make. I remember I was going to send you something when you was in Atlanta and my back, I had to have that surgery. But you let me know whenever you steal where I can send you some stuff. Oh yeah, he doing this thing. We can't, we can't say he ain't. You very busy. No, I haven't never had an opportunity to go to, um, one of his events. I know it's nice though. I know he does it very well. Okay. I just said whenever you haunt whenever you by when you done doing what you do. Whenever you done doing what you do and you say, Mama Tracy, now you can send me something. I send you something. No, ain't no use in sending it right now, Pamela, because he is traveling. He can't eat it. He ain't going to be able to enjoy it. He ain't going to be able to do nothing, do nothing with it. So, I, whenever he tell me to send him some stuff, I'll send him some. Oh, yeah, I know it's food good. It look good to me. He say he ain't never been to culinary school, but it, it don't look like it. It looked like he had. And y'all got to understand, business is also how you carry yourself. It's also like when he walks into a, a room, you can you can um, command the attention. He knows how to get his center focuses. And he knows how to. And what I love so much about it, and I'm not being, but I used to love when he, used to, when he was um, overweight. I used to love when he used to say, Lord, I know you can do it. <laughs> one of my favorite things he said say lord i want to be like jesus with a size 28 waist and lord i know you can do it and uh he know the bible verses he's gifted he, he's playing music by ear so that lets you know he does have an ear um and uh yeah and he has y'all sitting around the table family don't sit around the table no more but I know you can do it. Sarah, where you been, Sarah Palmer? Thank y'all for whoever sent some star. He said, I know you can do it. I used to roll. I saved some of those videos. Baby, when I tell you, when he would lay in that bed, Father God, Lord, I come before you humbly as I know how, Lord. Asking you to, I rebuke these little Debbie new snacks. I used to roll on the phone. I know you can do it. <laughs> but yeah, he does really good. Sarah, it's good to see you stop by, baby girl. You're very talented and gifted. You can't, see, a person with money. Even a person without money, when you learn that skill set that you don't let nobody know when you broke. Remember, he used to say that too, Marcia. I want to be skinny. I know you can do it. He said, What got me one time when he said, Lord, when I turn to the side, I want to be so skinny that when I turn, Lord, to the side, I disappear. Now, I almost peed on myself on that one. All right, Marcus, come through, baby. You've been with me, nephew. Marcus, what do you do? Do you got a page? Do you cook? What do you do? And where are you located? Because if you're going to come through, I'm going to make it comfortable for you. He said, I want to be so skinny that when I turn to the side, I disappear. It always amazes me to see Mama Tracy. Oh, I love you, Sarah. You've been with me a while. I don't see you like I do, but... 
You know I love you. How them babies doing? Oh, Marcus, I'm coming your way in May. I'm going. I'm coming to Marion's meet and greet. I'm coming your way to Marion's meet and greet in May. I gotta support my gal. Marion checks on me now. I check on her. You know, me and Marion met in a situation where she was going through a bad storm. But we've been we Marion don't like to call it friends. I call it friends. But we've been acquaintances ever since then. Me and her. Me and Marion Amazing Catering. I love her. And I got my brother there, James, for Million Dollar Barbecue. I got to go see him in bed. And, um, and, um, so yeah, I'll be coming through. I'd love to meet, um, Louisiana Soul Days while I'm there. I followed Darius one evening night. I was looking at him and found you. Oh, Rachel Adams, I'm glad you with me. Mama Tracy, how far are you from Lithonia, Georgia? About Lithonia and Lithia Springs. Lithonia is where my pastor lives. He said it takes him an hour and 15 minutes to get him Cynthia Banks. That's outside of um, Stone Mountain, ain't it? Because I sold houses down there before. I have to manage my time better. Pace yourself and raise your babies. You're doing good. I am cooking for about 40 people tonight for Bible study. Ooh, fried, southern fried chicken, potato salad, baked beans, plus a chocolate brownie. Oh, Lee and booze. Girl, I would love to be there with you. I would love to. I got Bible study at 430. What time is your Bible study? Is it going to be online, Leanne? I love his song he sings and service before he cooks. Let the foodie in you. I ain't heard that one. I ain't heard that one. I got to go find that, uh, Dinah Arnett. Hey, Jane Monroe from Louisiana. Hey, Colita Woods. Hey, Valerie Benton. Yeah, so this is doing what it's doing. It's starting to bubble now. Let me show you the gravy, okay? I also live in Lithonia. Well, where y'all been? Y'all could drive an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, Cynthia Banks. Uh, let me know so we can meet up. Um, I can see what son. Well, you know Cynthia. My cousin's funeral is going to be in Atlanta. I will be in Atlanta on Saturday. If you want to hook up. It's going to be at um, Mount Ephraim Baptist Church in Atlanta. I don't know. That's what it's going to be. But I will be there. Mount Ephraim Baptist Church. That's what I was told. Willie Watkins got a body. Okay. So this is how you want this so it'll keep cooking. You don't have to worry. This is going to thicken. And remember, let me tell you something. Why would you have your gravy so tight and your food going to sit for a while? You don't do that. That gravy is going to thicken itself. It's got to. It's going to keep cooking. And it's going to thicken itself. You make it too thick. It, it When you get ready to eat, it's going to be in a clump. That gravy got to finish. See? It's smooth. It ain't lumpy. And it's going to simmer. And that meat going to be just as tender. And I got all these onions over him. I just don't want to mess my husband up. I would put them on in now. If he don't want no onions, he'll get to complaining. So I'll just put them on when I fix mine. See, I'm not going to eat none of this right now. I'm going to get ready for my my life lessons. I eat after Bible study. My body's so used to not eating anyway. 
So, I got some rice. What nothing to my rice, nothing. Really, dry it out, okay? So, my rice is good and dried out. I put a little butter on it now. See? It's good to go. I'm just going to put a little butter on it. And let it just seek in now. And you can put as much butter as you want. But that's how I do mine. Just kind of let it stir it up in there a little bit and leave it to melt. And make your rice so tough and pasty. Just let it dry out a little bit so it can move around. I don't have a rice maker. I don't need one. I don't think. There's so many things that make your life easier nowadays, though. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Let that finish doing what it do. I love y'all. First time seeing smothered burgers. Really? That's what you get when you go to a restaurant and you get chopped steak. It ain't nothing but they change the texture of it and they smother it. And I'm going to put this gravy on this rice and some onions on top of it. It's in city, Kentucky. I listened to the service Eddie spoke. Yeah, he did good, Sandy. Nevada Cypress is watching from Austin, Texas. Oh, I love you, Nevada. Got a beautiful name. Very creative to name you out after the state. Just like we have people named Georgia around here. I got a cousin named Texas. Two. I got a cousin named Texas and a cousin named Memphis. Did you did you make a roux? I just no. It really ain't flour. It was just flour and a little oil. That's all. Yeah, just hamburger steak. Mm -hmm. That's all you got. So I'm going to get off of here, y'all. And I'm going to turn this um, gravy down. It's going to come to the boil that I want. Don't need nothing. That show is good. Just sit around and be so skinny you can sit around and just drink gravy. All right. So tonight we're going to continue to talk about the STDs in the church. Uh -huh. So come on over at 430. Turn that down. Come on over here at 430 and we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to go charge my phones. The biscuits is over there in the rise. That's all I'm doing tonight. i see y'all later. Honeybees. 4.30 on Life Lessons. Bye-bye.